fuck Trinity's salvation. This movie... For me, is when the Terminator franchise stopped being good. And they really should have stopped at the third installment because third installment was the last decent Terminator film that didn't be, make you uh, question where the fuck does this take place in the timeline. Plus, they gave a brief, in, like, a like, mission why Judgment Day was, uh, didn't exactly work like the hope to work in the sequel movie before Terminator 3 Rise Machines. Where does this take place in the timeline? It's a what-if timeline, I'm guessing, because, um... Christian Bale plays John Connor... From John Connor, as in the future John Connor, the rebel leader John Connor, that John Connor, the banished John Connor that we all heard about since the first installment, that John Connor is playing. So, let me get this straight. Uh, so he has this recording from his mother, but he doesn't know exactly what type of term it is set to kill him mother before he's born. Now, keep in mind, uh, this takes place, I guess, sometimes after all his childhood happened, I guess. Which means I've turned to when he met the termate that uh, his mother was afraid of. But different models uh, uh, that got reprogrammed. That's the same termate that got reprogrammed from a different time in the future. To prevent judgment thing in the sequel. Anyway. Uh, so John Connery is the main human. And the guy that's playing the main termate is the guy that survives countless amount of uh, uh, serious... Things that would kill a normal person does in scenarios in this movie. And you know, I guess that he was the Terminator. I called it. Dad didn't believe that he was the Terminator, but I wonder why I called it? Because the amount of shit that this guy has survived. He landed in Hall Ocean after getting flung off a Terminator that, that's on with wings. With barely a fucking scratch on him. And he's still breathing. And yeah, he survives lots of shit like that. Now, I know this is supposed to be like a twist that he's supposed to be the uh, Terminator in the, uh, the twist in the movie in the third act. But I saw it coming once I... Saw how much he, like the saw that he was made the main character more and getting more screen time to Hong Kong and doing more badass scenes and getting less taking less human damage and I'm dying or breaking a single fucking bone or fracturing a bone in his body or every bone in his body. Sally, the turn is not played by Schwarzenegger, it's played by a guy that's got turned into a Terminator, but with human organs. That used to be a regular dude until he got turned into a Terminator. So, he, is he a Terminator or is he a cyborg? Because cyborgs and Terminator are pretty sure are different things. Wait, if he was once human, then, then, wait, wait, this is stupid. How can he be a Terminator if he was once human, but got turned into a Terminator without, by through Skynet? I don't think that's really should be considered a Terminator. That should be against Terminator rule that, that should, so... He was human at one point, but uh, 
Which is what they feel about for Skynet that she's that's playing the guy, yeah, Skynet explaining everything while the, that his and his mission was to uh kill John Khan, that's why she put a chip in him. And he takes the chip out and decides to shave John Khan from the other turn and not kill John Khan, but saves his life. And he gives his heart to John Khan quite literally, basically, with heart surgery. To save John Khan's life, which ends up killing him, the main character in the like in the process, because he decides to save John Connor's life that we barely really knew. Unless you saw the director's cut of this movie, I think. I see it's the director's cut, but uh, personally, I didn't like the director's cut. Either. Why? Well, even though it gives more depth to John Connor as a character, it's still the same fucking movie! I mean, like, it's like, yeah, you could put, give us a director's cut for every film, but why would you wonder if a movie, the premise, it's like, it's... The, the, okay, uh, yes. The director has plain stuff, and yes, it does have an R rating, and gives it an R rating as more action scenes. That feel more like a Terminator movie, but, uh... I see my problem with the director's cutting this, the same problem is like this, uh... This. You know... It, it overstays his welcome. Both versions of the movie, they almost say they're fucking welcome. Look, if you like the rest kind of a hate the theatrical, okay. I don't know why you would, but hey, I like either version because I think both of them suck because they almost say they're welcome and they drag on and go on for too goddamn long. In fact, I've seen the reason why I like the, like the theatrical cut, even though it makes less sense uh, uh, for John Connor's. Uh, in terms of fleshing out characters, it just brings me into the movie sooner. Because, here's the thing, I don't care about two fucks about this John Connor. I will say this turning is, is like a ball, but here's the problem. How he was made makes no fucking sense. At that point, with Skynet Studios, they're creating life, not just Terminators. Because the fact that they gave it human organs is so bizarre. Including a functioning human brain with, with, with you know, intestines and lungs and stuff. All the human organs that we have, it has. If you dissect and open it up, cut it open. And the thing is, he thinks he's human, but doesn't realize until it's really real, real to us, the audience. But unless you're living under a rock and you haven't seen how indestructible these terminates can be from the past films. You will see this twist coming. I'm sorry, Papa, but I'm just baffled baffle of why did people thought this was a good idea to make. How does this got green lit? Whose idea was it, was this movie? Whose fault was it that got green? Lit? Whose fault is this? Instead of giving us like a Terminator 4 that continues after the events of Terminator 3, you give us a what if story. I mean, I'm just saying, like you, I'm saying, like you hate Terminator 3 I don't, or any, all the Terminator movies before this one. I don't give a fuck at this point. I like Terminator 3 and Terminator 1. And I'm kind of split on Terminator 2. I say I should watch that again, see if I what, how I feel about it. Uh, how it holds up. So, 
Yeah, so turn me if Selfish is because of zero out of ten, this is for being too fucking confusing and reason too many fucking questions and being too fucking obvious and too simple at the same time. Yeah, so that's why this rest cause gets a zero out of ten and the theatrical gets a zero out of ten. Goodbye. Of Turn Me Salvation, those movies the, the Both versions of Turn Salvation gets a zero out of ten. A zero out of ten. Sermay Salvation, both the director cut and the theatrical cut. But, I wish I could say, you know what the fuck is, I'm just going to say, I was going to say the Terminator Genesis is worse, but now I'm thinking, maybe it's not worse. But more I'm saying, I think I hate this more, more than any other Terminator movie. Because it's the one that feels the least like a Terminator movie done well and has so many things wrong with it and in, in both director's cut and the theatrical cut release of the movie. I mean, why would Terry need organs? I get you put flesh on to for to planet, but why does it need human organs? If that's really a, supposed to be a term, I'm fuck it. Fuck this movie. I think I give both for cut from a zero ten, right? Yeah. Fuck Terminator Salvation. Worst Terminator film ever. And anything that has had to do with the Terminator franchise will be the series or the movie or, you know, the series that lasts for two seasons show. This is straight up fucking stupid. This movie. And I really hate how, like, uh, the term is monologuing in it and trying to teach us, the audience, like, that's, yes, we're saying something important about humanity. Because the human, strengths of human heart is not something you can plug in a machine, but it's the strengths of human heart that was to make the strength of human heart. Is what it makes humanity, even though the term is more human than John Connor himself at this point in both versions of the film. Of Terminator Salvation of both cuts of the film, so I'm lost what that speech was supposed to fucking mean anything.